I don't plan to read off a list of cliches. However, I thought I would start by congratulating the class of 2020 for making it through a year unlike any other I have ever seen or heard of. I want to give due credit to the faculty and staff that they deserve for their concern and assistance throughout our years. I can remember all the way back to my 4K teacher in Spartanburg, and the lessons I received from that point forward were about more than just classwork. Some of these are no longer with us, but they have shaped our characters and live within us. One of the Beatles, John Lennon, wrote the song Instant Karma in which he states, We all shine on. I believe that those influences in our lives have given a guiding light that will shine on through us, and they will not be forgotten. In the coming years, I believe some of us will appreciate the sacrifices the faculty and staff have made for themselves, each other, and their students. For me, I think that thank you is not enough. We students in the graduating class all have choices to make moving forward that can impact our outcomes, those around us, or the generations ahead of us. This involves more than just a career or education. For the past few centuries especially, the human population has increased exponentially, and the world has endured more and more pollution and exploitation. A lot of the magic and stability the former generations knew has been lost forever to the technological age. I think that God, the planet, and some of humanity have been trying to say we're just getting too old for all of this. Maybe it's time we grew up and took responsibility for our own actions and quit our childish divisiveness. I am not a teacher, preacher, lawyer, or the President of the United States. I am only a student, and we students learn from these obscure platforms. What are we learning through time? How to become united and help each other, or how to go against one another? At what point do we realize that enough is enough? School can only do so much. History has proven human nature time and time again, and modern advancements can easily intensify the factors. I would be very careful about the decisions we make in the approaching days. I hope that each one of us becomes not only successful, but happy and free, and in this day and time, safe and secure. However, let us make sure that the choices we make ahead of us do not bring negative or dangerous consequences to what world we have left. In my opinion, the coronavirus panic is not unwarranted, However, I believe the term has already turned into another cliché. This is not a local, regional, or national issue. This is worldwide. I would say this has been and continues to be the ultimate test of the highest levels. Sometimes, things happen for a reason. This may prepare us for what comes next. It is very disturbing to me to wonder why this happened and who all was affected. Even now, I believe safety is still a concern for the public. I am not sure whom to trust anymore, especially hearing the news and government and even the people lie to each other. Of all times, now is the most necessary for uniting and helping one another. Is that not what the United States is about? From what I learned, people used to come together and worked on solving a problem. However, we now seem more divided than ever. I plan to keep a positive mindset and hope something good comes of this. Maybe we should all say a prayer and give thanks for things not coming out any worse to this point, as well as for those who were lost during this pandemic. The time period leading up to this point and now, I believe, has been and are truly biblical, and not meant to be taken as a joke. John Lennon wrote one of his last songs, Nobody Told Me, with his wife, Yoko Ono, which featured the lines, Nobody told me there'd be days like these, strange days indeed. How could some of these people have known? I realize we all have different perspectives. We all find comfort in our own ways. Sometimes it's through spending time with family, listening to music, or taking a long walk on a beach and reminiscing. There are so many other references and statements I could make, but I would be here all day. Fortunately for myself and all of us, I was told to shoot for only three minutes. My father once told me, no matter what happens, don't let your head hang so low that you can't pick it back up and never give up. Always make it to the next day. I have no clue what the future holds, but I believe the class of 2020 has been provided the tools, confidence, and hope necessary to face it from the gifted teachers and administration of Woodruff High School in the state of South Carolina that trained us.